It's 1 a.m., I should be asleep. But instead, I'm here. Because the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 3 just leaked. And if you're into smart glasses like I am, you're going to want to see this. We've got new renders, new features, and two completely different designs with code names that give away a little more than you might expect. So, here's what we know. Two renders were just posted by XR Research Institute, supposedly showing the upcoming Ray-Ban Meta Gen 3 glasses. And unlike Gen 1 and 2, which used one base design across multiple lens types, Gen 3 splits into two distinct models. Let's break that down. Codename Aperol is the sunglasses version, sleek, classic, and designed for users who want AI features baked into everyday shades. Bellini, on the other hand, is the optical variant, made specifically for people who need prescription lenses. The design here leans a bit more rounded, like a cross between the headliner and Skylar frames, definitely more friendly for all-day wear. This marks the first time Meta has clearly split its smart glasses into two function-first variants, and given that the parent company behind Ray-Ban, Essilor Luxottica is French-Italian, those drink-based code names make sense. Now, let's get into what these glasses might actually do. According to the latest leaks, the Meta Gen 3s will come with longer battery life, improved AI integration, and something being referred to internally as super sensing. So what is super sensing? It's rumored to be an always-on AI assistant that doesn't need a wake word or a trigger. You just look around and ask questions. What is that building? Or translate that sign. The glasses use AI to analyze your surroundings in real time and respond. Think of it like Google Lens, except voice activated, hands-free, and always watching. Yes, it sounds a little dystopian, but also kind of amazing. And while runtime for this kind of feature used to be limited to just 30 minutes, the new hardware supposedly supports hours of continuous use. Another key leak, the glasses might include real-time object and scene recognition. That means you could look at an object and have the glasses identify it or label it verbally. There's also speculation that this could be a massive accessibility win for users with visual, hearing, or mobility impairments. Imagine glasses that describe your environment, guide you visually, or assist in everyday tasks like messaging, taking photos, or placing calls, all just by looking. And even though we haven't seen confirmation of in-lens displays, the software alone could be transformative. Remember the $10,000 Orion prototypes Meta only gave to select developers? That same object recognition tech might be coming to these new Ray-Bans at a consumer price. Here's the kicker. These leaks came right as the Oakley Meta pre-orders were expected to go live. Coincidence? Maybe. But more likely, it's a calculated move. Meta knows competition is heating up fast. Android XR glasses, Xiaomi AI frames, and a wave of startups are flooding the space. And if Meta wants to stay ahead, a Gen 3 release this year makes sense, even if it's aggressive. So far, no pricing, no full spec sheet. But from what we're seeing, Gen 3 is shaping up to be a bigger jump. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit like, subscribe.